Hey everybody, it's Dave here. Holiday for two. Hope you're having a good day. Well, I'm on one of my uh, monthly trips down to Tucson and decided I'm going to take a little side trip today. Uh, there's a spot that I found on freecampsites.net and it's uh, I'm on Highway 87. I just pulled off the 87. I'm about two miles east of Eloy and the place I'm going to go to and I've never been to before is called Brady Pump Road. So stick around, I'll show you what it's like. It's a state trust land camping, and I found it on freecampsites.net, but I don't have any idea what it's like. I've heard good things about it, so let's go check it out. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified when I put out more of these videos. I like to go find little nook and cranny places to go and spend a night or two. And this is straight state trust land, so stick around, I'll show you what it is. Here we go. <laughs> so someday when my ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. It's just a beautiful day. The weather right now is like 65 degrees and it's just beautiful out here. This is, uh, I'm on Hauser Road right here. So you're gonna go east on Hauser Road and just run all the way, it'll run all the way to the end and it'll be on Brady Pump Road. That's kind of looking south towards Tucson. There's Picacho Peak. Picacho Peak's right over there to the south of where I am. So kind of, you get an idea of where I'm at, but there's some big plants over here. They're building some new uh, uh, businesses out here, Nicola. Interesting, this is a happening place out here. I like to do when I'm coming out to a place like, like this I always like to check off to the sides of the road and see if I sure enough I see some campers over there <laughs> when I'm looking or off to the side if I see campers off onto the side of the road somewhere I think okay there's a spot you can boom down so this is all state trust land there's some uh, RVs pulled over there about a quarter of a mile or half a mile south of here. So there must be a turn off here that they took. It's a pretty little area out here, I will say that. Uh, I think this is the road right there. Yep, I just saw the road. So I'm gonna turn around. I just missed uh, the spot that you turn in. So I'm gonna turn around here. That's uh, the pump plant up there, so I don't wanna go up there. I like to get out here and check these spots because you never know what the driving conditions are like. And I don't wanna bring a motor home out here and then run into something that surprise, you know what I mean? Like, the truck's no problem because I can get it in and out of tight situations. Or the Jeep but if I came out here in the motorhome I wouldn't be able to get out of tight spots and I think I see an exit right here this has got a kind of a dip right here see this is kind of a this little dip right here I don't think I'd want to do this with the motorhome state trust land permit required 
no target shooting or dumping. Now I think, let me get on Google Maps and double check, but I think this is the spot where you can pull off at camp. According to freecampsites.net, there's some spots here. So I'm gonna pull off right here and just park. That's what I'm gonna do. Well, I just stopped and looked at my map and you can camp where I just pulled off, but this isn't the, the spot that's on freecampsites.net. But you can camp here, but that entrance where I came in was a, a little dip right there. So I'm gonna turn around and go up the road. I think I wanna go up about another quarter of a mile. And I think there's another spot where I can turn in up there. So we'll check it out and see if that entrance is a little bit better. But this spot, you could camp here if you don't mind that little dip right there. I'll show you it on the map when I do the video. But uh, it's everything so green because of all the rains that we had. And that other spot that I'm talking about is just up over there. Not even a quarter of a mile. And kind of runs up. There's a little ridge right there. I think it runs up, kind of parallels that. There is a uh, canal right there. You can't see it on the video, but if I get the drone up in a minute and look around, you'll probably see that canal over there. And then there's a pump station. I, I believe this is all part of the Central Arizona Project. CAP water, they call it. Look at the view. Oh my goodness. This is just so pretty out here right now. A little windy today. You might hear a little of the wind noise. I also noticed an entrance on the other side here because there are some RVs way over there west of here about a quarter of a mile that way so uh, it's quiet nice nice little spot if you want to come for a couple nights to get a little peace and quiet and rest halfway between Tucson and Phoenix about three miles uh, east of Eloy Toltec Road, get off on Toltec, that turns into Hauser. And you take Hauser all the way out to Brady Pump Road. So I'm gonna get back in the truck, go down and check out the other entrance. But I think first I'm gonna put the drone up and just look around and see what it looks like from the air. It's just so pretty.
just pulled in a little spot here uh, off the road and you can tell that there's been people camping here there's even a little fire ring and there's the canal right up there you can't see it but they have like a dike built up by the side of it there part of the CAP canal but uh, yeah you got a little fire ring here and I suppose if you wanted to get adventurous you could take one of these roads back here and uh, it's just beautiful out here and according to freecampsites.net they say that it's very quiet I uh, also checked my phone I have two bars so you have a good signal out here a good cell signal we have T-Mobile so I got two bars coming in and it's a good thing too because I needed to check my map to make sure I had the right entrance and I didn't I actually I was at a spot just over there uh, north of here about a quarter mile but that you could also pull off there I wish that one dip was a little deep for me if I'm gonna bring my motor home out here and I think this road even goes back on farther there's another little spot up there you can camp. But uh, just surprised that there's not more people out here right now. Especially as beautiful as the weather is. Uh, if you need supplies, Eloy is just a couple miles back in on Hauser Road. And then you got I-10 uh, off Toltec Road. It's the closest access to here. Or you can take the 87. If you're coming up from Tucson, I took the 87 exit like you're going to go up to uh, Florence and up that way all right well, hey I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, safe travels whatever you're doing be sure to give it a, a thumbs up and uh, subscribe so that you'll get more of these videos that I show these little nook and cranny out of the way places where you can camp in Arizona that I didn't even know about till I started hunting and searching and this is the first time I've been out here, so it's I put this on my list of definitely come back and try again later on and uh, bring the motorhome out, maybe even bring the quad out. There's supposed to be some ruins up Brady Pump Road. If you keep going up that way, there's uh, some also some petroglyphs uh, up along those hills over there. So you can take this road up a little farther and there's some hiking and petroglyph trails. So that's another thing that would be fun to do. And I suppose if you had an ATV, you could ride anywhere around here. Just make sure you got your state trust permit with you. Take care, everybody. Catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.